Setubandhasana. Setuban means formation of a bridge. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like a bridge. This asana is also called Chatushpadasana. Lie down on your back with a comfortable distance between your legs. Place both your palms on the floor in such a way that they are facing towards the sky. This asana is called Shavasana. Now, join both your legs. Bend your legs and bring them close to your pelvis. Hold your ankles firmly with your hands. Now breathe in slowly and lift your pelvis as much as possible so that your body resembles the shape of a bridge. Ensure that your head and shoulders are on the floor and knees and legs are in one line. In this final pose, you can give support to your waist with your hands if you want. Stay in this pose for 10 to 30 seconds while breathing in and out normally. Setu Bandhasana strengthens the muscles of your lower back. This asana stretches the internal organs of your stomach to improve the digestive process and giving you relief from constipation. Setu Bandhasana helps improve cardiac functions. If you are suffering from ulcer or hernia, then you should refrain from doing this asana. Pregnant women should do this asana with utmost care and under expert supervision. After staying in the Setu Bandhasana pose for 10 to 30 seconds, while releasing your breath slowly, bring your pelvis down to the floor. Release your ankles and come back and relax in the Shavasana pose. Doing Setu Bandhasana regularly will help you to overcome depression and anxiety.